right day. Have you ever noticed all the other things drivers do while driving? Putting on makeup, texting, digging around for a CD. One of the latest items unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas right now hopes to leave more of the driving to the car itself. Joining us live from the show in Vegas, welcome our gadget guy, Steve Greenberg. <laughs> hey there, Steve. All hey, right. How you doing? I'm oh, good. Hey, explain to the folks at home, this show is the mecca of all shows when it comes to electronics. And technology. This is it. This is geek heaven. You're talking about 150,000 people all gathered to see this year's new products. You've got 15 miles of aisles. Uh, you can see some right behind it. The show's about to open in about two hours or so, and this place is going to be packed with all sorts of people showing their newest products and people checking them out. Yeah. It's going to be pretty amazing. It's, and it's really closed to the public. You have to be basically invited uh, and get an invitation to come to it. But it, it's really an amazing event. Yeah, and of course, no surprise, you got an invitation because one of the things that you help do is uh, get inventors into the market. And so oftentimes you'll bring some of these things to us that you have seen at this trade show over the years. Absolutely. I'm looking for new products. There's actually an area called Eureka Park, which is all dedicated to inventors and new products and startups. So I spend a lot of time there trying to pick out some products and maybe get them uh, licensing deals and maybe get them some money. So that's part of why I'm here. Uh, this part of the show floor is really more about established products, uh, big companies, a lot of 3D uh, printers I've seen around here in this area of the yeah. floor, a lot of car and gadgets over in that area. Also, uh, it, it's that, really pretty amazing. That car is pretty amazing. Amazing that we talked about. You know, at some point, I hope this becomes something that uh, is like the norm before my son starts driving, before he gets a license. Isn't that incredible? I mean, uh, yeah, the, the, I actually have an appointment to ride in that car on Thursday, so I'll, I'll be checking that out on Thursday, and I can't wait. Yeah. It's such a cool experience to have the dri car drive me. And if you've seen me drive, you'll know it's a really good thing. <laughs> I, I should get a car like that. Yeah, because there's all kinds of there's convenience there, obviously, but it's really about the safety factor. Yeah, in fact, staying with car themes, last night I got to check out a, a lawnmower, a brand new lawnmower that actually is uh, more like a car. It's purely, t totally electric. It's called the uh, uh, Cub Cadet, and it is 100% electric, so it's zero gas, and it has a zero spin, a, a turn uh, a degrees on it, so you can actually spin it. It's the first a car, uh, um, lawnmower that can do something like that. It's really amazing. It's got a lot of other cool features built into it. Obviously, no emissions because it's electric. Very, very cool from the folks at uh, Cub Cadet. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Steve, like that'd yeah. be great for my husband. Do you think you could find like a riding vacuum cleaner? For me? Uh, I'll, I, that's next year's probably. I'll, I'll talk to the Cub Cadet people about that. Good idea. Now, you may have read in the papers about something called Bitcoin. These are digital currencies. It's kind of a strange thing. There's, there's the currency of the federal government. Well, there's now a separate currency that actually can actually buy you things called Bitcoin. There are several different coins. The next big one is called Litecoin. And if you want to mine it, they're, they're hidden on the internet and you can pull them out and then actually buy things with it. Uh, this gadget right down here is not really a gadget. It's a very powerful computer from the folks at uh, AMD and also the folks at iBuyPower.com. And this computer is very, very powerful, and it can crack the code. They claim it'll get you $50 a day in Litecoins, and each Litecoin is worth about $28. So this might be something, a little side business. Someone calls it the salary machine because it actually will generate a salary, which is pretty amazing. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, this next thing is pretty cool because uh, just when you think it can't improve anymore, here comes the toothbrush again in a different way. This is, it. this is it right here. This is like the darling of the show. And I have to tell you, I'm pretty fortunate to have gotten this prototype here because everybody wants it. It's like the media is jumping all over this. It's called Cobri, uh, Col Colibri. Colibri is what it goes by. It, and what it does, it, it has a Bluetooth connection. I think it's kind of a toothbrush, Bluetooth. I think that's kind of cool. Connection to your smartphone. And it actually does an analysis of how well you're brushing, how often you're brushing, how long you're brushing. If you, if you just place the electric toothbrush and just to slide along your gums or if, you're, if you shake it too much, which is not good for your gums, it okay, does this all is that great analysis. great because when my son says, yes, I brushed, and yes, I brushed for a while, now I can prove it. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you can see how he did each day, month, year. You know, it does all this analysis of your brushing. Very cool. Coming out later this year. This product you're going to like too. This is called Smart Charge, and this is an LED bulb with a built in battery. So, what that means is that if your power goes out in your house, 
your light switch will still work, and this will still work for another four hours uh, oh, wow. of electricity. Okay. This is pretty cool. All right. From the folks at uh, Smart Charge, brand, brand new product. Okay. Next, so -so. Uh, everyone's experienced a lot of cold weather, so I brought a cold weather product along with me. This is from Zippo. This is a, a lighter that you fill with lighter fluid, but what it does, uh, it, pr it produces 12 hours of heat. So you can keep it in your pocket and keep you warm. They actually had something like this years ago when I was a kid, and now it's, it's actually here on the floor again. So huh. I thought that was worth pointing out, especially with the cold. Uh, here it's uh, 34 degrees here in Vegas right now. Yeah, you uh, got about 31. The, <laughs> another cool fact you're going to love, your, the average person's cell phone is 18 times dirtier than a public restroom oh. when it comes to germs. Oh. So here's the solution to it. This is called phone soap right down here. This little, this little thing opens up. It's there to, to charge your smartphone, but it also has UV light built into it. So what it does is it actually uh, sanitizes your smartphone. <laughs> kind of a neat idea. <laughs> I like the name phone soap. This is called Spree Fitness Monitor right over here. And this thing, it, a lot of what you see on the floor here is all about wearable technology, and that's what this is. This is nice. the only one that monitors you, besides looking very cool. Yes. It monitors your steps, your activity, your temperature, and your heart rate is all monitored from right up here. It's pretty cool. And it sends that signal against your smartphone and does all the an analysis and keeps track of yeah. how well your run is going and whatnot. Olivia course, Newton John just cool. called and she wants that one. She's like, let's get physical. She wants that. I, I actually love it. Then over here, we got some, there we go. This is pretty cool. This is called Zep. And this little gadget can be attached to your tennis racket, a baseball bat, golf clubs, and it does an analysis of your swing. So, for example, this is the attachment for the baseball. Here's the, here's the information right here. So here's a swing, and you can see it, it, it charts it. And, it will, and you can look at it from all different angles. Uh, you can turn it around. We can look at it from the top, from the side. All very cool. And then you can, you can look at all the statistical information right there. So it's a really cool way to do an analysis of your tennis game, your golf game, your uh, baseball game. Well, Steve, thank you very much for showing us this stuff. We feel privileged because this is a preview because it hasn't even really, the show hasn't officially opened yet. Uh, oh, but yeah. I'm just going to end with saying the cool thing about this is that you're joining us through FaceTime, which was, of course, another invention that's made this possible because otherwise we wouldn't do it this way. I think we're using Skype at the moment, Skype, actually. We're Skyping. Yeah, we are Skyping. It says Skype we're right Skyping, there. We are yeah, Skyping. Yeah. The same Skype as everyone has on their computer home. That's how we're communicating, which is pretty amazing. And years ago, you'd have to buy satellite time, and now we're just doing it over the internet. Love it's pretty it. cool. Steve, thank you very much. <laughs> and for more information on any of these awesome gadgets or on the Consumer Electronics Show, log on to GreatDayHouston.com. Show. We're talking with one of the writers from the series Sex in the City, Cindy Chupak. So for our Facebook question of the day, we want to know which Sex in the City character are you? Are you a seductress like Samantha? Are you conservative and traditional like Charlotte? Are you independent and cynical about relationships like Miranda? Or are you a fashionista and witty with your words like Carrie? Log on and let us know who you're most like. We'll share some of your comments later in the show. I think a lot of us might be a combination of all of them. Great Day correspondent Courtney Perna is riding the high-tech wave in her latest workout routine. Earlier we saw a driverless car. Now we're doing waterless surfing. Say what? That's right, Deba. It's totally tubular. And even if you love the water and you love the sand, you don't need it for this surf-inspired workout. After the break, I'll tell you how you can get fit and avoid becoming shark bait. Ah.